the quest to win the ultimate prize of a two-bedroom house. And of course, the bragging rights of being winner of TV3 Mentor Reloaded. We have the finals coming up on the 23rd of February. But we had 11 contestants as of Sunday. Now we are left with nine contestants. Here are two EVTs, Tabia and Dufi, who left yesterday but spoke to us about the experience so far on the Mentor Reloaded show. I always say this, um, everything that happens, happens for a reason. And so, although I could have been saved, but then, says the will of God, do feel should go home. And I don't know what's packaged outside for me. So I'm just grateful and thankful to my creator for first of all bringing me to this competition and holding me down till this time. It's, it's a great exposure. What are you going to miss from the house? To be honest with you, I was really learning from other people I really met here. And so I would say I'll be missing the whole house. Um, what I've learned so far now is to be you when it comes to a talent. You don't need to fake it, because what you start or, or what you sell from now is what they are, the fans out there are going to buy. And so my first lesson was to be me, to be real, to be who Dufie is. So my confidence level, oh my God, I've really learned so much on that. Do you see winning the two-bedroom house? Um, I would love to see Optional Ken win the competition because this guy has the talent he's he's a potential material like he's really working hard although he's coming from the north which some people really underrate that's how i would say it people coming from the north because of their accent they can't really learn all the languages in ghana here so it gets difficult for them to mingle or just associate themselves with the other groups in Ghana. So this guy has been so strong and has been doing it from day one. And I will pray to my creator that he wins. Um, I feel very grateful because to have people you don't even know from anywhere watching you, sending you encouragement via social media, people who don't have anything to gain they just they just love you genuinely it's it's been amazing and um, i've learned a lot living with people from different backgrounds um the training we went through voice training the rehearsals it's it's been interesting yeah two things that you picked from the house i mean what is it going to be all these weeks being in the mental health um i think personally my stage performance has improved because I know myself. Yeah, I think in in different aspects I have improved and there's still more room to work on that. So, yeah, basically. So, what is the next move for you after the mental house? To work on the Tabia brand, to improve on myself and um, basically surprise everybody. Yeah. There you have it, Mr. Simon.